Traditional approaches to time series estimation and forecasting in economics require that the variables be of the same frequency. This often causes a problem since most macroeconomic data is reported at different intervals and frequencies. For example, in many countries GDP is reported on a quarterly basis, whereas unemployment figures are reported monthly and interest rates or stock market prices are reported daily. A frequently used solution to this issue has been to aggregate the higher frequency data into values in the lower frequency. For example, three months of employment data in each quarter are averaged to give a single quarterly value. A significant disadvantage to this approach is that through the aggregation you discard data which can lead to less accurate estimation. Mixed data sampling, MIDAS, is a method of estimating and forecasting for models where the dependent variable is recorded at a lower frequency than one or more of the independent variables. Unlike the traditional aggregation approach, MIDAS uses information from every observation in the higher frequency space. As an example of using MIDAS in eViews, we will follow the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis's paper, Forecasting with Mixed Frequencies, from November 2010. In one of the applications in this paper, the authors forecast quarterly GDP rates using monthly unemployment growth data. We will perform a similar study using more recent data. First we need to obtain the data in an eViews work file. We'll create a work file with a quarterly page and a monthly page. For our study we'll be using data from 1985 onwards. We click on File, New, Work File, and then change the frequency to quarterly and enter the required dates. We'll give the page the name GDP Quart. Clicking OK will create the specified work file. To create the monthly page, we click on the New Page tab at the bottom of our work file and select Specify by Frequency Range. This will bring up the same dialog as we just used, but this time we will select Monthly as the frequency and name the page EMP Month. Clicking OK gives us a two-page work file. Next we use the convenient FRED interface to search for and fetch the GDP and employment data. We click on File, Open, Database, and then select FRED Database as the database type and click OK. This opens a connection to the FRED database. To browse through the available data we click the Browse button. To search for GDP, we select All Series Search and then enter GDP in the search box. Since we are interested in nominal GDP, we'll use the second result. To import the data into our work file, we can simply drag the icon onto our quarterly page. Double clicking the GDP icon lets us view the data. We can see we have data for GDP from 1985 until 2015 quarter 3. To search for an employment series, we'll type employment in the FRED search box. The third result, total non-farm payrolls, is the result we require. We'll drag its icon onto our monthly work file page. If we open up the series, we can see we have data until 2015 month 12. Following the original FRED paper, will create transformations of the GDP and employment data to produce growth rates. Using the eViews command line, we first, ensuring that we currently have the monthly page open, enter a command to calculate the log difference of payrolls, multiplied by 100. Switching to the quarterly page, we calculate a growth rate for GDP. Now that we have our data, we can estimate our first equation. To begin, we will estimate a model using the traditional aggregation technique for dealing with different frequency regressors. A simple equation regressing GDP growth against a constant, a single lag of GDP growth, and the aggregation of monthly employment growth, lagged one quarter. We switch to our quarterly page and click on Quick, Estimate Equation, and enter our equation specification.
Note that eViews allows you to directly specify variables from other pages inside the equation specification using the page name slash series name syntax. eViews will aggregate the monthly values of employment automatically for us. Clicking OK produces the estimation results. Since we only have data for employment through 2015 month 12, i.e. quarter 4, we can only estimate this equation using data through 2015 Q3. We can see that the estimate of the constant is around 0.8, and the lag of GDP growth is around 0.16, although slightly insignificant at a 10% level. Click on the Name button allows us to name our equation EQ01. Our second equation will use an Allman PDL lag weighting MIDAS regression. We again click on Quick, Estimate Equation to bring up the estimation dialog. We change the method dropdown to select MIDAS. We enter our dependent variable GDP growth along with a constant and a lag of GDP growth in the first specification box. The second box allows us to enter our monthly regressor, again using the syntax page name slash series name. We enter munemp slash emp minus 5. The minus 5 signifies that we want the employment values lag by 5 months. eViews calculates the lag starting from the last month of the quarter. The Federal Reserve paper uses data from the first month of the previous quarter, so to match it up we need to take a 5 month lag. The Allman Midas method takes a number of periods of the higher frequency variable and fits them to a lower order polynomial. We simply need to specify how many periods of monthly employment will be used in the polynomial. EViews allows you to set a fixed number of periods, lags, or choose automatically. To match the Federal Reserve paper, we will fix it at 9. Clicking OK produces the results. These results are split into three sections. We have the quarterly coefficients at the top, followed by the polynomial coefficients, and then at the bottom the individual lag coefficients. We can see that the coefficient on the constant term is similar to our previous estimation, and the coefficient on the lag of GDP growth is slightly higher and more significant. We again click the Name button to give our equation a name, EQ02. Our third equation will use a step-weighted MIDAS regression. We follow the same steps as the previous equation, but use the Options tab of the Estimation dialog to change the MIDAS weight method. The results from this estimation are similar to the previous one. We name this estimation EQ03. Our final estimation will use a beta weighted minus regression with no restrictions. This is estimated in the same way as the previous two regressions, but we change the minus weight to beta. Having estimated our four equations for GDP growth, we'll use eViews' forecast averaging tool to create a combination of forecasts of GDP growth through 2016 Q1, i.e. a forecast of two quarters. To do this, we open up the GDP G series and click on PROC Forecast Averaging. eViews allows us to use existing equation objects to perform the forecast to be combined. We simply need to enter the name of the equation objects in the Forecast Data Objects box. Then specify the sample we wish to forecast over and the type of averaging method we want to use. We'll stick with a simple mean calculation. Clicking OK produces the averaging output. The multiple lines during the forecast period represent each of the individual forecasts and their average. 
The red line is the non-MIDAS aggregation approach, and it clearly produces a forecast much higher than the MIDAS estimations. Opening the generated series GDPG underscore F, we can view the actual data of the forecast. Note that the values prior to 2015 Q4 are the actual data values. Thank you.